Welcome to Metso. In this video, we are going to look at factorizing the non-monic quadratic trimonials. So the term non-monic comes because if you look at the tri quadratic trinomials, we have three different um, uh, terms here. And we have the coefficient of x squared is 2. If the coefficient of x squared, which is more than 1, then we are using non-monic. Non-monic means not monic. Monic means one. So if it is not one, then we are saying it's a non-monic. And if you remember correctly that the quadratic that we used before ax square plus bx, the general form of the quadratic is ax square plus bx plus c. a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x, and c is constant. So if you deal with the problem where the a is one, is called monic quadratic but now we are dealing a is 2 in this case because coefficient of x square is 2 then we are saying it's a non-monic but the, it doesn't matter it's a monic or non-monic the the strategy we are following to do the factorizing is the same and if you remember correctly that I explained for the monic you need to break that middle part into b to a 2 segment which is b1 and b2 in a way that b1 plus b2 we are getting b and b1 times b2 which is ac and in this case our uh, b is 5 for this problem and for this problem our ac means our a is 2 and c is minus 12 which is minus 24 so we are multiplying 2 and minus 12 and 2 so a is this one and c is minus 12 so ac means a times c which is minus 12 times 2 which is minus 24. So now we have to break that middle part into the two segments so that we addition of these two getting 5 and multiplication is minus 24. So it's the same expression that we did for the monic one. So how we can break that 2 and like 5 into a two segment so that addition is 5 because we can't change the expression and at the same time multiplication of these two components should be the multiplication between these two and part. Uh, if you say so 24, how about 3 times 8? And you see that there is a plus here, it is a minus. So we have to make these two, one should be positive or negative because plus times minus is giving you the negative. Because when you are multiplying, one should be positive, one neg negative. Then only you are getting negative. So in order to get one positive, one negative, uh, so we can just write it okay 2x square uh, minus 3x plus 8x minus 12. So you see minus and plus one positive one negative which is minus 3 times 8 is 24. So if you multiply these two it is giving the multiplication of these two because minus 24 and then if you multiply this and this again it's a minus 24 we know that. So multiplication rules is applied here. But if you do that, um, the, this addition part, so addition condition is fulfilled because plus 8x minus 3x, which is plus 5x. So I'm not changing the expression. I'm just breaking the two to make it four component here. But at the same time, the multiplication of these two is the same as the multiplication of the end part. And it's exactly the same explanation what I did for the monic. So it doesn't matter if it's a monic or non-monic, we are doing the same thing. But in this case, the AC is we are multiplying a is a, uh, a is 2 in this case. Now we are grouping these two and these two. If you do that factorizing this, uh, x is the common factor, then we are getting 2x minus 3. If you do this one is 4 maybe common factor, then you have uh, 2x minus 3. And I mentioned before that always you will get these two same. If you get something different, it's something wrong here. So you can cross check is something uh, you are making mistake in this part. So if you do that correctly, you are always getting that common. So now here and here, these two component, 2x minus 3 is the common. Okay, then you have x plus 4 left. Okay, so this is the answer. Uh, let's have a look at another example for the non-monic. If we have, uh, I can do in here, minus 2, uh, let, let me just, maybe I can make it like that. Minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. Uh, 
you can do in the same way again uh, you have to break it into so if I use this one uh, for this problem so you have to make b is minus 3 in this case so if I remove that now uh, let me just changing it I am now I am solving for this one the b is minus 3 and our ac will be minus 10 okay so how we can break this one into uh, the minus 3 is or what you can do uh, the alternative way you can think we have negative in the front why not just taking negative common but not necessarily have to do that but you can uh, take common like first because the negative we don't like to see in the beginning so we, that both will be positive and then that positive will be negative as I am taking the negative out so I am multiplying negative plus so positive times negative is negative positive times negative is negative 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 is positive so now you can think okay then our uh, b will be 3 and our uh, still ac would be the negative because minus 5 times 2 which is negative 10 anyway so now you can do what 2x square we have to break it again in the two component so how to break it so we have negative and we have positive again one positive one negative uh, 10 so how to make 10 so it would be minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 how i know that plus 5x minus 2x give us plus 3x so positive should be dominating because we have positive here and when you are multiplying these two is a negative of 10 so negative of 10 that's what we need to now leave that negative in the front and then you do the grouping here so if you do 2x common it would be x minus 1 if you take 5 common then again it's x minus 1 again it's the same thing you see so now if you do the uh, x minus 1 common you have 2x plus 5 left so now we can we don't need to even put that uh, square bracket because uh, this represents the times relation so minus is the times relation with x minus 1 it is times relation with 2x minus 5 so you can leave it like that but if you don't do that part if you don't just uh, take that minus out in the beginning still is fine you will end up with the same answer but maybe instead of negative you are getting the negative inside so it's probably it would be 1 minus x of uh, like like that so if you multiply that negative in here then it's minus x plus 1 so plus 1 minus x and another one is 2x plus 5 so you see so you maybe ended up with this sort of answer uh, but it's nothing wrong both is okay both is the same so don't worry much as long as you get that factorized properly we can break it and get the same common thing you are correct okay so it doesn't matter you are taking that negative in the beginning or you don't take it that's that doesn't matter okay uh, so that's all about non-monic so what we are learning here doesn't matter is monic or non-monic the the one principle uh, we have to fulfill both condition so we have to break that middle part b as a b1 and b2 and you know why that we can't change the expression and at the same time we have to fulfill the second condition where b1 times b2 will be the multiplication between two n pairs like that now i'm leaving two questions for my uh, students to answer and if you understand uh, the, the my explanation in the previous uh, video and this one I'm pretty sure you guys can answer if you can't get it just go back to the uh, video and uh, try to understand and do by yourself the first question would be the question number one which is 2x square plus 11x plus 12 question 2 3x square minus 4x minus 15 so factorize these two Thanks for watching and if you want to see more about the quadratic solution please subscribe the channel and then you will see all up-to-date videos that I am uploading in YouTube. Thanks.